Here we are going into game one on small battlefield with a bit of that, uh, a bit of that Splatoon music going on in the background as well. This one's feeling nice and sassy between the two sassy ladies. Going to see which one of them are going to be able to start up their combos first. Umeki finds that side B, throwing it back towards Yadon. It's a Nair as well, wants to try and hit some sort of edge guard, but the up B of Mithra going to be big enough to snuff that one out. Nair to come down. Continuing the pressure, Yadon. She wants to keep Umeki in this disadvantage state. Gets an up B again as well. Another forward smash. Unfortunate. Here comes Yadon, though, continually using this up B in such good positions. Finding a neutral air dodge as well, just to get that foresight. And now Pyra is here. And Umeki stock is looking near its end. Nice little gentleman. Almost enough, but not quite. Umeki still holding on to this one. Has the potential now. Takes stock first. Throws with a turnip, not enough. Side B comes out, and it will be enough. Yadon taking first stock in this set. Upset on lock, perhaps, if Umeki's not able to take this stock soon. Beautiful combo together with these back airs. Yadon stringing them together. Here comes Umeki, yep. Not even gonna wait to react to that tech chase. We're just gonna swing straight up. Yadon was not ready for that forwarder to come out. Up B again, this time missing. It's Umeki's turn for a punish, but Yadon hitting the spot dodge. Foresight activates. We're gonna get out of that one. Up B and out of shield. We've been doing it a lot. Sets us off to platform though. So we'll stay relatively safe. Another bout of swings from both players that nothing just seems to be connecting until Yadon is able to do that forwarder on the shield. Gets that multi-hit. Down here comes through. Another blazing end. But nothing connecting like either of these players would like. Everyone is swinging here, but no one is swinging enough purpose around to send the other off stage just yet. Quick rapid jab, Umeki trying to punish that one with the run in grab, but Yaudon just able to spot dodge it. Still finds himself off stage. Might be getting gimped, but the perfect switch between the ladies, or I was trying to say the princesses, but these are the Aegises. Keeps them alive. Nair coming out again. Yaudon back towards the stage, trying to keep Umeki pressured at this ledge with all these aerials on shield. Not going to be enough, though. Umeki now finds the back air first himself, but it's still not enough. That surely will be, though. Gets the Z drop on Yaudon. Not playing conscientious enough in this disadvantaged state. One little chip hit from any of these turnips could be enough to send you off stage. It is Aegis, that's their weakness. Not even able to get a punish off the neutral B, Umeki. Gonna have their stock taken from that one. Down air into up air. Nice and even game for the first one here. If Yalan's able to keep this combo going, Nair into Nair onto platform. Double back air, up B, that's 47%. Umeki. Struggling to find their way back towards the ledge. Side B's to get to center stage. Down air once more. Oop, another down air towards the ledge. Really wants this gimp. Yadon's not gonna, just going to give it to you for free, yo. Nair into Nair into up smash. Reed on the tech roll in. What an option select for Rumeki. Places Yadon on top of the platform and reads exactly what tech option they were going to go for. Was just able to hold that up smash and react at perfect pace. Very well played out by Mickey in this game one. It was a sick read. It was a very sick read. Ricky gonna keep rereading on. Gonna be reading on in this match. Try and find as many of those as he can. So let's think we're once again find ourselves in a position where one of these players is gonna be making out of this match, winner side of top 128. So, along the line here for both these players.
Start of this car this second match, no character switch. Very nice. Run it back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, pop offs in the background. I think a Frenchman just won. Let's see if we can see Umeki win as well. Here on this game, two to FD. Yaro not wanting to deal with platform shenanigans, but Umeki showing that their combos don't want to deal with them either. Able to build up 60%. Continual turn of throws into the back air. 108 at the moment. Another back air to send you inside the side stage, but we are tech up here. Another one of these uppies just to keep the pressure off. But Imeki, a back air, snipes him out. That's a turnip. Gonna be able to take your stock. Only 36% in this final destination game. Gentleman jab to send off stage, but trying to call out a roll that does not occur. Umeki able to make it back, find another turnip. And we can start seeing comments like we saw in that first stock. The pace of this match could speed up exponentially. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Rapid jab for more damage. Finds this grab as well, Umeki. Just playing around all of Yadon's options right now. Wants a shield to stop Umeki from just doing these aerials, but not able to make it happen. Dash attack, gonna go punished. Finding that up tilt though, but not enough percent just yet. Let's get it close to this ledge. Swinging with these, not enough still. Really struggling at the moment to take this first stock off of Umeki. Meanwhile, Umeki coming back to stage aggressive with that forward air. Could bring this one to a 3-1 deficit. If we can find this hit, Nair into jab on the shield. It was looking low, so we know we were gonna let it go. Oh no, not up being close enough to the ledge. Yaodon gonna go straight down. So is Umeki though. We find ourselves a two stocks to one. A beautiful lead for Umeki to have so we can start going for a little more aggression or a little more sneaky options. Doable in any of these situations if we can connect with a turnip, but connecting that turnip is difficult. But Yaodon can keep swinging with this Aegis. Already has Umeki at 67% and Pyra is out. We know we want a kill. Now, in order to bring this one back, Mithra though, we're in disadvantage, so we need her. Now more than ever, air dodging just to make it back, but a down smash from Umeki puts us in a really bad spot. Trying to side me to catch the iron recovering. Not enough. Nice forward there from Umeki there. Oh, and the chip hit from the turnip will be enough for Umeki to set up that F smash. It was a checkmate situation once you got set up that angle. Mickey making it work for him. Find himself up 2-0. And to be frank, I'm not sure how I feel about the uh, the FD pick that we just saw there. Mickey, another one of those players that can play exceptionally around anyone who wants to just take them to a stage without platforms. Perfectly comfortable with comboing on a completely flat. And you can imagine the concern comes from Yaldon where he didn't want to go to a stage with platforms because of the up smash read that Umeki hit in game one. But he didn't need the up smash read that entire time, so. Let's see where this third stage is gonna happen. Yep, on small battlefield. Platforms are back. They're engaged, they're on lock, and I'm loving them. Also, as luck as these Umeki combos, if we could see him start instead, it's Yaldon finding a combo for himself in this opening moments of the match. Clear advantage state given up by that up B. Whoop. We're a flickering little, and we're back. No, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> easy, easy. And setting Yadon up on that platform, though, not going to be able to follow up. Umeki picking to pull a turnip to make the most out of the situation instead. Huh? <laughs> hey, present buttons over there. I'm not sure. It's that. Right. Another down air on the side of Yadon. Has Umeki at those percentages where down air would be devastating. But so is a forward air from Umeki and a turnip spike forced to do the side B. Umeki's ready for it though, gonna hit that F smash. 
down airs again, just doing these floats wherever they need to happen. Yeah, on the rapid jab on the platform, gonna be a good amount of damage from Mithra. Swing it over to Pyra. Her jump take the stocks. Not able to make it work just yet until we found that up B. Very well placed, catching Meki out of the air. Gonna be able to bring this one back. Almost being able to catch that tech on this on the platform as well. Yaudon. Trying to swing with these aerials and these tilts. Wherever they may land, Budimeki playing really well around it at the moment. Turn up in hand, really wants to connect it with something. Looking for Yaudon to make that one bad option that we can punish, and that was not it. Instead, catching the turnip when we went for our aerial. Unintentional, but working in our favor. And then down through into forward air situation, Umeki. Swing with the side B at the moment. Wanting to have any opportunity to get this hit. And also not wanting to go to a deficit. Yeah, on at the moment, trying to line up that down air. Not going to make it happen. Umeki giving up air dodge. But Yaudon, not ready to react to that one. Up B into forward air. I don't know if that's true, but it looked kind of funny. Another set of back airs from Umeki, all of which is absolutely swinging on this shield of Yaudon, on the character of Aegis. Everything's struggling here. Another turnip throw. We don't have a jump. That's going to be enough. It really is a situation of if we can get rid of the jump on Yad on any sort of turnip. We take it in stock. Almost able to start up a combo there. Not enough. Yad on again. Catching the turnip before Mech. He's able to make use of it. Down throw back air though. We're off stage. Went to line up another aerial towards that lip of the ledge. But Yad on still able to make it back. Dash attack gonna go punished heavily by all these turn up throws. Umeki, what a perfect combo there off of a punish from a dash attack. Just absolutely stringing all these turn up throws together, sealing it up with the back air, making that game his in a 3 0 fashion. Beautiful play. Beautiful. Yeah. That was pretty crazy. Woo! Umeki, playing wonderfully. Hi, Chad. Peach is correct. Uh, actually, that was Daisy pushes up glasses, types angry message in the comments. <laughs> was that legal? Yeah, of course. Hey, play better. Umeki, just clean in that flow cast. Just grab throw, grab throw, grab throw, grab throw, grab throw. It's enough. Oh, Cosmos first game. We could shoot into that now. It's only 30 seconds in. It is live. It's first game. No, you 